my name is Sohaila Lintheim. I'm from Limerick in Ireland and I'm 26 years old. I started with my modelling when I was 14 years old and I answered a search for a supermodel competition and uh, I ended up winning it. I moved to London when I was 18 after I finished school and uh, I got signed with an agency in London. Agents have been pretty good so far with my modelling career. Yeah. Definitely when um, I travelled around. I started in London, I was there for four years and then I went to um, France and then I went to Barcelona and then I went to Istanbul and I also did London Fashion Week and Bahrain Fashion Week and Istanbul Fashion Week. I was doing um, mostly catwalk modelling and also some commercial stuff. Lots of jeans stuff in Istanbul actually. I love working with like new designers. Stuff that's really kind of different and it's not just like your, your average stuff where you can kind of get into character. It's really unique shots like I like that. What paid off for me I suppose was getting into the right frame of mind when it, when it comes to modelling. Um, I'm quite easy to work with, which I've been told makes for a good model. Definitely not a diva. <laughs> it's so much more than looks. Um, you really have to have a desire and a passion to do it. And you have to commit yourself 100% and don't be flake because people won't work with you and that's what it's all about. You have to, you know, um, be reliable, I suppose. It's probably the best advice I can give someone is to be reliable. My advice to new models would be to make sure that you want to get into it um, for the long haul and it's not just like a fad, it's really hard going and you get a lot of knocks and you have to be able to bounce back and just, you know, realise that you might have got that job but that doesn't mean that you're a bad model, you know, you might get the next job, uh, you might be exactly what the next person is looking for so I suppose don't give up because you can give up so easy. Have good friends and family around you that will support you. Um, because it is quite a tough industry. I love travelling, so that's one of the best things that um, I've I've um, I've gotten out of modelling. It's been the fact that it enables you to travel to different countries. I was shooting in Barcelona in the desert. That was great fun. It was it was a fashion shoot for Louis Vuitton. It's not as glamorous as it comes across because uh, a lot of work goes behind the camera, and obviously backstage with fashion shows. You know you're you're getting changed super fast, and people pulling at you, and like you know don't do this, don't do that, and go go go, and you just have to like you know, shut up and suck it in and then come out like, um, you've been like that the whole time, but obviously you haven't. And also photo shoots, they can take so long, um, you know, you can be standing there and have like a million people poking at you as well, but I, I, what I love about modelling is that I have an interest in the finished product as well, it's not just like I'm there to get paid and, and then I want to go home and that's it, like, I actually want to see the images and I want to, um, I have an interest and I think I know a bit about photography as well so for me it's more than just getting paid and I like the whole process as well. The benefits of having an agency obviously is that they're employed to find you work so it's in their best interest to find you work because you're working together, you know, you're not working for them, you're working together which I think some agencies tend to forget that you're a team and you're not like, you know, run, run, run and do this, whatever. So that's good because, you know, you're constantly getting pushed and put forward for jobs and you have someone, you know, looking after your back. The plus then of doing all freelance stuff is that obviously there's not the commission, you get the money, um, it's all for yourself, uh, which is great. Um, and also you can pick and choose um, exactly what you want to do, what, whatever you're comfortable doing. Um, you can lay down you know the rules and things so you have freedom in a way as well i don't know if you could 100 percent survive on just doing freelance to be honest because it's, such, it's so touch and go you might have three jobs one week and then you might have you know no jobs for six months because there's no guarantees so i mean it's tough like it will be tough so i would always um my advice to model to be try and get an agency at least one agency in whatever country that you're in and then obviously when you travel you can apply for other agencies as you go um, or you can be put into placement which is what I did as well. I was placed in Istanbul and Bahrain for a couple of months at a time through an agency as well so that helps because you need the agency to back you up to go on placement. They won't just take a freelance model, they'll need to be connected with your mother agency so that's important. I have been quite fortunate in that I haven't met any kind of dodgy people as well through my freelance work. My agencies have been that very um, encouraging with the nudity work that I do because I do art nude for like I do freelance art nude 
so they wouldn't put any of those pictures on their website or anything. Ireland isn't cool with nudity at all, really, so it's only when I go abroad that I can use my images. I have different portfolios that I use. Only high fashion I would ever see nudity or, or do nudity. What, what I've achieved so far from modeling has been great and in like a couple of years time I hope to still be doing some modeling but I know that there's a very short life on it and I have a great time. I've been doing it for more than 10 years now so you know, had a good time, time to move on, <laughs> so we're getting old. So I'm um, going to do acting, I want to do like acting courses and get like properly trained and so the modeling is a good platform for that because um, it's quite similar to acting and it, you know, I, I'm not, not a shy girl, so <laughs> modeling has been helpful for that. I've done some acting before, yeah, I, I did some in London, um, mostly student films to build up my showreel and stuff, um, but I am keen to learn more before I do more film work. When I first saw Port Fora, um, I was quite impressed with the um, high level um, of people that come on to use it. Uh, I've obviously been on different online sites before. It was easy to put my pictures up. I was impressed with the, the layout and it's easy to use. 